Soccer Story, developed by Not Tonight Studio Panic Barn and published by No More Robots, offers a unique RPG experience where all the world's problems can be solved with a simple game of soccer. It was announced for Steam and all current consoles earlier this year with a PC beta release in the summer. When starting a new story, the player can choose between male or female. A character not chosen by the player will appear in the story as the main character's twin brother. The core gameplay is like a typical top-down RPG, much like the old 2D Zelda games. Players use the joystick to move their character, the A button to interact with objects and items, and the X button to slide and move around the grass to find hidden objects. Once the player has found the magic ball, they can summon it by pressing the Y button without playing the ball. Outside of the game, players can also control shots by aiming with the right stick and pressing the right trigger to fire the ball. Of course, players have to challenge other teams in soccer games to complete the task of winning Soccer Inc. On the field, the soccer controls are very simple. The player uses the joystick to move around the field, pass the ball to a teammate using the A button or change control, use the X button to beat the opponent, and use the B button to shoot. Players can also charge special counters by dribbling on the opposite side of the court. This meter is used for special attacks using the Y button. To continue the story, the player must win the game. A loss or draw will result in him having to play the game again. In a standard RPG, players must complete various quests and side actions given to them by NPCs in order to advance the story or gain valuable items to help them on their journey. As the story progresses, players will unlock new football boots, allowing them to play with new abilities and travel to new locations. They can also upgrade their team's stats with certain upgrade medals that increase their speed, strength, or shot-blocking ability. In addition to the normal soccer action, there are many games that players can complete, such as fishing, helping the blacksmith kick the coals back into the fireplace, or dribbling the ball around the field within a time limit. While most of them are simple, some, like the aforementioned fishing, can be quite clumsy and difficult to figure out due to the lack of instructions. From the main menu, players can also engage in quick matches with up to four local players using the various teams and kingdoms found throughout the main story. These players can compete against each other or be on the same team. Football Story's art style combines the 2D sprites of the classic Zelda games with the blocky environments of Minecraft. The music is quiet and relaxing to reflect the overall relaxed tone of the game. In classic RPG style, the dialogue is text only, with some clever jokes and dialogue thrown in. There are also some short vocal clips throughout the game. Football Story is quite simple in terms of gameplay, but it offers an interesting novelty thanks to its football tricks. It also has a nice storyline and quirky characters that harken back to the classic top-down RPGs of the SNES era. Fans of both these older titles and retro sports titles will have fun with Football Story's sophisticated mix of genres, and younger players won't have too much trouble picking it up. Our rating, 3 out of 5. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and support my channel.